Hi, my name is Amber Case. I'm the director of Esri R&D Center Portland. What we're doing here is working on developers.rgis.com, which is taking all the stuff that Esri has had for many years and putting it into uh, a new system that you can easily pay monthly for instead of yearly, easily sign up for, and has lots and lots of sample code. When we first discovered Esri, it was really exciting because here were all of these tools that people have been using for years, and there's a whole new group of people that have no idea what those are. Things like geocoding and routing and drive time polygons, things like advanced maps, all of these different geolocation and geo triggers tools. Um, a lot of the stuff that we do here for fun, we release as open source, um, including Terraformer, which is a great way to visualize tons and tons and tons of data at once in nice polygons without crashing your browser and taking like five minutes to load. I'm Patrick Arlt. I'm a web developer and designer here at Esri R&D Portland. So we've been working on a small JavaScript library called Terraformer, and we needed Terraformer because we needed to convert data that we were getting in in different formats, things like well-known text and GeoJSON, which are both well-supported formats, but we needed to be able to quickly visualize it and convert it and show it on a map. Early on, when we created the company that got acquired by Esri, we realized that battery life was a big issue. If you've ever used a location-based app, and then you look down at your phone later, you probably notice that your battery has been pretty much hacked in half. So what we've first done is made a bunch of little algorithms that reduce your battery life from draining. Some of the other things that we're working on is making it really easy to access geocoding. So if you wanna know where somebody actually is and not get a latitude and longitude back, but actually get that they're in a certain city or state or country. So what are geo triggers? Well, geo triggers are basically answering the question of, what could your app do if it knew where it was? You can basically make any sort of custom app. You can hook it into any other system. For instance, at home, I have the lights automatically turn on in the house when I get home and automatically turn off when I leave. Some of the sample apps we've made have been taking all of the geocoded Wikipedia articles and putting them into an information database so that when you walk down the street, you get all of the information about the interesting places nearby. Now we finally have the ability to make really intelligent apps for phones, we just don't have all the exciting tools. Because honestly, all the really exciting tools out there have been only reserved for researchers and scientists and people at R&D centers. And we think that everything should be open and accessible to everybody so that we can actually build more interesting stuff. That's really my goal, and I think that's really the goal of the company as a whole, is to um, increase the ability for this to be used by many people.